Alright guys, part two here. Uh, this is starting to become a bit tedious. Getting a little tired, but I still got a few beers left, so I'm a happy guy. Uh, showing you my trade feed to begin with there. The first Ziegler sold pretty quickly, so I thought, why not? Why not? Let's go look for another one. And we found our guy. Also picked up a nice Abiati from Serie A in a 442 formation. Nothing to complain about for 9,000 coins. Went ahead and listed him, and that's an easy, easy profit. Uh, he sells within the hour, and I get my coins back quickly, which is what I've been trying to do this whole time. Trying not to get too ambitious with players. Finding the balance of you know, an ambitious price to make solid profit versus a price where people are going to buy the cards quickly has been kind of tricky, but I'm getting the hang of it. This guy right here, 900 for an informed player, buy it now. He's not in a great formation. He's not a great player, but it's still an informed player, and people like their informed players. So went ahead and picked him up. Easy breezy. Made like, you know, a thousand coins on him. He sold next time I listed him. Uh, really easy stuff. I think I listed him for 2500 by now. There were two of them up on the market, both for 2500 and mine went pretty quickly. Picked up a Christian Fuchs right here. I'd gone ahead and checked the market before. I was nervous about buying him as a left wing back in a 4-4-2 because they don't have a left uh, left wing back in a 4-4-2 formation. But there wasn't a left back 4-4-2 Fuchs on the market or a left wing back 4-4-2. This was the only one, so I said, heck yeah, we'll buy this. Because if someone wants him for their team and he is a standout player for me when I've had him, uh, then they'll buy mine in their 4-4-2 formation because they don't want to pay something near 10k for that formation card. Moving on, taking another look here at my trade feed. All good things. The cards are selling and we are making profit. We are on quite a good pace here to be honest guys. This is being recorded at 9.30pm Eastern Standard Time here in the U.S., and as you can see now, we're flipped ahead maybe 30 minutes from that last clip there, and we have cards that have sold. Awesome, awesome stuff. Somebody threw, a, I guess, a cheeky little trade offer in at Sahin, and I was like, forget that, get it out of there. Ziegler sold nicely, and I said, you know what? Um, even though I have one Ziegler right now, I'm going to try to pick this other one up. He's in a 4-4-2, and that's why mine isn't going for that much. But what you just saw right there was I found a Benedict who it is. For buy now 14,000 coins, he goes for 20,000 average price. Checked on the market. There's not another 451 who it is out there. Went ahead and threw him up for 21K, I think is uh, what I end up doing. So that's an easy profit for me, guys. There's no doubt in my mind when I get a card like that that he's going to sell overnight one way or another. Another Mikel Silvest. He went really quickly the last time we had him today uh, for 10,000 coins. So we're going to go ahead and try to pick him up. And, guys, you can see some of my bidding strategy here. First and foremost, throwing that eager bid as soon as the other guy bids. I see that I get outbid. Green bottom at the right. You know what? We're going to throw you the, I'm not, you know, I'm serious about this. Throw it up to 6,500. See if you're still serious about this. And obviously this guy is. Um, and I'm like, you know what? Last bid, throw it up there. And, you know, if we get him great at this point, if not, you know, save the bid tokens. It's not worth it. But I'm pretty sure I end up picking him up here. 7,000 coins. He'll be a nice 2,500 coin or so profit once he sells. And that's, you know, it, you have to take those profits in this kind of a challenge. And it's you got to get those quick trades around. And I think 10K is about average for him. So I'm going to list him probably at about 9,500. Guys, this was an awesome buy. I found an eager Afghan fail. Buy now like 14, 13 or 14,000 coins in a 41212 formation. I was like, heck yeah, going to throw him up for his average price of 20K. And then I thought, wait a second. Are there any other 41212 team of the year Afghan faves up? Here we go. We'll go take a look. And lo and behold, guess what? Mine's the only one up there. There are two team of the week Afghan faves up there. And I saw that and I was like, absolutely. We're definitely, definitely going to throw this guy up for a couple K more as each thousand coin really just helps me because it allows me to buy more cards and you know list more cards at the same time the last buy in this installment here is this hugo almeida for 5,000 coins picked him up open bid in a 4222 formation which really isn't bad uh he were that you know it's not a great formation for the bundesliga not a great formation for portuguese league teams but it's still for 5,000 and his average price is 10,000 coins that's a, quite a good player to pick up and 5,000 coin profit is 120th of my way to 100,000 coins and that's quite good but anyways guys this is episode two episode one will be linked in the description thank you guys for you know watching these episodes in quick succession or coming back and watching them however you do it uh, but this is japes guys and i will catch you guys in a few hours